What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Fresh Take Podcast. Hey. How you doing today, hey. Alex? Huh? I feel like a, <laughs> on a talk radio station right uh, now. And, uh, welcome back to KCRW. Uh, uh, today we're, gonna, we're talking about um, frogs. We're gonna, frogs are... Uh, there's a lot of them. There's an abundance. Abundance. That's a good word. Mm. Abundance. Mm. <laughs> Sweet buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's up, dude? <laughs> Not a whole lot, man. This chicken parm was real good stuff. Chicken parmesan Which, by the way, uh, fun fact, uh, I uploaded it. I... Don't know, I think it was I didn't sleep a lot. I spelled sandwich wrong in the upload title because <laughs> someone texted me and I was like, You spell sandwich wrong, you dork. <laughs> well, how'd you spell it? I did it like S A N D W H I C H. Literally, witch. It's a witch sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> um, so that was stupid. Um, that problem's <laughs> fixed now. I was like, I hate myself sometimes. Totally good. <laughs> Mm. But other than that, I think the episode was pretty great. It was good. I can't think of chicken parmesan without thinking of Peyton Manning, though. Why? I don't know if you've ever seen that. The State Farm commercial? No, State Farm? No, Nationwide. No. He's on the Nationwide commercial, and he always sings, like, the jingle, but with everything he's doing. And in one part, he has a chicken parm, and he just goes, Chicken parm, you taste so good. (laughs) I just think of Peyton Manning eating a chicken parm. And sinking that. <laughs> Didn't know that was even a thing. Yeah. That's all I have to think about now. So. <laughs> now I'm going to think about yeah. chicken parm. That's stupid. <laughs> they have their jingle for being so catchy, too. Yeah. We were just talking about uh, Juliet, her cousin, for her birthday. She didn't want us to sing happy birthday. She wanted us to sing Selena and Barnes. Selena and Barnes, uh, injury <laughs> at 20s, oh 800, aided. and like there's a room of 20 call people. Eight. Yeah. Don't wait. <laughs> Don't call, wait. Call, call eight. eight. So Can't get that phone. That's what, that's what she had to sing <laughs> instead of happy birthday. She's like 13, kids are funny. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Um, so crazy. Yeah, man. I This chicken parm episode, it was funny. We've gotten some pretty good reactions to it, but I, Anthony's comment yesterday was funny, that he was like, I totally agree with where you guys went. Oh, yeah. That, like, I mean, like, you saw that try it, yeah. and then, like, you're good, and, yeah. like, we seemed so in the middle about it, mm-hmm. so, like, he expected a seven, and that's basically what we gave it. And it was. And it was a seven. Spoiler alert, if you're watching this and not haven't seen if you other. haven't for some reason seen that episode yeah, you're that's watching weird. the chicken parm podcast <laughs> it's like if you were watching a game of thrones recap and didn't see the episode <laughs> and you're like that's weird i feel like i missed things yeah. when did that happen like, whoa this is crazy when did Tyrion become a dragon <laughs> it's crazy crazy man things yeah. happen so fast they grow up so fast Jon snow is happy <laughs> That's a thing now? What? No. That's a lie. He's never going to be happy. He's never happy. (laughs) (laughs) I was so tempted to uh, restart Rick and Morty today. I feel like I have to. In in preparation for a new season season. coming out. Yeah, I feel like I gotta watch them all again. Yeah, well maybe when we go hang out with Mario and Jay, we can go do that. Yeah. I got um, Jacob to watch Rick and Morty, and yeah. he says he's seen all the episodes about three times now. So <laughs> it doesn't take yeah. long to get through them. It's, they're so good, like it's just such a stupid show, but like so genius. It's so genius, <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> oh, fun! I don't random. I don't know why this came in my head. Sunday, I'm going to Comic Con. What? Yeah, Leo texted me this morning. And he was like, "Hey, what are you doing Sunday? Like all day?" And I was like, "Um, I don't know." I have nothing planned. And he was like, I got an extra ticket to Comic-Con. You want to go? I was like, yes. Yes, I do. That's not even a question. What? Yeah, so I'm going to Comic-Con. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Wait, how did Leo score tickets to Comic-Con? I don't know. Leo always gets like, tickets for like these conventions. Is it because he wears his hair slicked back? Mm-hmm. 
That's what I it think is. It's all the dad hats and the rolled up jeans and. See, that's our problem. We cool don't dress pastel like pink uh, Converse or not Converse uh, bands that he wears. We gotta that's dress cooler, is. and we'll get tickets. Hey to man, I like to think I dress uh, a decent, d- decently. Yeah, but not Leo cool. Yeah. So, I'm know. wearing I'm wearing a beanie and glasses. I think I'm pretty hip. Stir. I think I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, caught up with the fad. Would you say would you, would you say you're with it? I would say I'm pretty groovy. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm a neat guy. I'm pretty out. I'm a stand out guy. You look like the bee's knees, man. You're the cat's meow. Cat's pajamas. I mean, you know, sometimes I feel a little kooky. A little, a little sugar in me. I feel a little, a little kooky. kooky. That's for Brandon. That's, that's, that's just for Brandon. Brandon. I'm. This coming up episode that we have next week, we have some special guests we're featuring. Very special. That are uh, near and dear to my heart. Hopefully yours. You've known them for a short period of time. Yeah, they're but long near, enough. They're near and dear. They're wonderful yeah. people. John Deere. They're John Deere. We have John <laughs> Deere coming on John the show. John Snow. Again. <laughs> John Deere and John Snow are going to be on the show. No. Uh, Back to the Deere. Two Deere very references. special guests <laughs> coming on next week. And I'm mega pumped for them to be on here. Yeah, they're cool. And we also have a pretty sweet they're item that cool I'm excited people. to put out. Yeah. So that'll be good. It's going to be fun. In this podcast, we've actually shot this one not directly after the episode, as you can see in the change of scenery. Yeah, I was going to say, also, we're in my room. <laughs> yeah, we're in Alex's room instead of mine this people time. Like, where, the, like, where are they? Where the how does his they? room just keep changing yeah. colors? I paint my this room my every room. week. This is it. If uh, is there's not a lot of light, it's the way I like it. I uh, <laughs> it's, I've never heard a more true <laughs> statement. Got my my favorite uh artist right there. It's a, it's a painting. Um, the artist isn't yep. actually right there. Nope, he's there. That's him, in person, in the flesh. Subaru Bali. Yeah, Bollywood. It's Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you can see this is actually a nice change of pace. Uh, I happen to be over in this neck of the woods, and we had to shoot this. Yeah, so the valley. This is nicer, but train thought derailed, <laughs> gone forever. Everyone died. <laughs> mm. Um, I had DiGiorno earlier. What? Like pizza, DiGiorno. Mm. Was it not delivery? It wasn't delivery. Mm. Weirdest. Th- it's DiGiorno. No, but are you sure? Yes. Okay. Just make because like it could be delivery. I mean, they bought it and they delivered it to the house because they brought it to the house. And so are you saying? In a sense, it's a type of delivery. So their advertising could be wrong. Those fucking liars. They're <laughs> sexy. <laughs> No, but it was really good. I uh, what kind? What was the flavor? Just your basic cheese. I was I was expecting something more interesting. Well, I didn't order it. It was Juliet and her family. So it was delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, we can argue all day and night about whether or not it was delivered. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. It uh, might have been. Who's name? It's not DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> shut up you shut up you're the big zone idiot not me these glasses are old also I uh yeah, my you don't contacts, ever wear them anymore no, my contacts were dry and I lost my glasses I don't know where the hell they are so these are old ones it's an old prescription so does things, it even match your eyes anymore so things are still a little fuzzy <laughs> but they're not as fuzzy <laughs> so is that where your eye was all red yeah my contact was just messed up I don't know what was wrong with it my eye was just super red I saw some nasty Nasty ass thing on the Snapchat discovery page. I think it was yesterday. Mm, do I want to know about this? Yeah, it's about contacts. Oh, no. So, some lady, I, I didn't read too much into the article. I kind of like read the gist of it. But I guess basically, she wears contacts mm-hmm. and they were leaving like a small film behind on her eyes. And the doctors had to like go in and do a surgery and they removed like 27 layers of this like weird contact <sighs> film no, 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 from no. her eyes. What? Yeah. Ugh. It was gross and yellow. Yeah. And... See, I want to be able to, like, I want to, I, it's a lot of money, but I want, like, LASIK. 
I just I have a green laser. We yeah, just, we just. Yeah. That's the. I guess I don't know if this is true or not. I'm not a medical professional. I don't know anything about this. But apparently they just like get rid of like layers. That's what they do. They is that like all zap, it is? Zap out layers. And I stuff. never understood what they did in LASIK. Yeah, I don't. But apparently that's what I heard. I don't know. I could I be extremely wrong. I Think I've known two people that have had it, and they were like so happy with the results. Yeah, like I want to do it. Isn't it like? But then also expensive? the thing is like, yeah, it is really expensive. That and also like, I I kind of like wearing glasses sometimes. Well, you like, can I, like, still just, wear like, glasses. I'm not gonna be that guy. I know I'm not gonna be that guy. <laughs> that just wears like, fake glasses. Probably more than half the guys. I'm not gonna be that guy. <laughs> I do that. All right, man. Well, then have bad vision there's forever, no, man. There's no point in wearing glasses if you don't need glasses. Okay, sunglasses. Well, yeah, that's sunglasses. Still glasses. That's a different type of sun. No, no, no. It's not the same. It's not the same. Would you buy glasses that have the polarizing lenses so when you step outside they get darker? No. <laughs> I wouldn't. I know I so wouldn't. many people with those. I had my friend. Oh, Gordon. You know Gordon. I do. Gordon had those. I wouldn't do those. Those aren't, they don't get dark enough. I like my sunglasses to be very dark. He owns a, a pair of like the lightest yellow tinted those are special though those are my nighttime glasses those are my nighttime sunglasses so <laughs> he won't be the guy that wears uh non-prescription glasses but, but he'll wear sunglasses, wear sunglasses at night yeah i wear sunglasses at night <laughs> i'm that guy that's worse no it's not i don't think so yes i think wearing glasses is worse that if you don't need them because then there's other people that need glasses and they hate the fact that they have to wear them but then these people are wearing glasses yeah <laughs> But like, <laughs> that's also, it's just a style thing. It's like if thing. someone started getting braces and they didn't need them. <laughs> no, that's so different because <laughs> your perspective know, on that I is know. so I know. I'm being a dick because I know you have glasses and you don't need them. I don't even wear them anymore. When was the last time I wore them? I don't know. Like a, over a year ago? Mm. Probably. I don't remember. Uh, they used to be like, I had these... Can they see my foot right now? <laughs> I'm not wearing shoes. My foot. I don't know when I stopped wearing them, but I had these glasses. I have a big nose. And for anyone that's listening to this and that knows me, knows I have a big nose. <laughs> so these glasses were awesome because most glasses look really small on my face. Oh, excuse me. I'm so burpy. I like chugged down a Coke on my way over here. Mm. And there's a lot of carbonation. But anyway, so these glasses were bigger framed, so they looked more normal, but also at the same time, they still look too big. It, ah, man, I, yeah, I don't wear them anymore. It was such a weird phase of my life. <laughs> I, like, felt the need to wear these glasses with every look, and I really didn't need to. He has perfect vision. You have perfect vision. <laughs> I do have perfect vision, yeah. <laughs> you just had glasses. I liked it for the style. <laughs> I guess. It's just funny. Whatever, man. It's just funny that, like, glasses... People now wear them for a style. But, like, not even ten years ago, if you wore glasses, you were, like, a nerd. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hipsters changed the game. I guess. I hate... Oh, I hate that. That's so dumb. Because the first glasses that I remember that came into like really big style just, were the the cheap Wayfarer. I just hate the fact frame. that things that made me a nerd back in middle school are cool now. <laughs> Sucks to suck, dude. <laughs> it really does. I was like listening to Zeppelin and like I had glasses and fucking everyone was like, what's, what's wrong with you? They're all like listening to Akon and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I never got into all and that. And I was like, I'm an idiot, I guess. And then now everyone's like, we listen to Zeppelin and we wear glasses. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking you 10 years suck. later. This I trend. hate you. I hate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Middle school for me. Yeah, no, I didn't start wearing those glasses till like three years ago. Yeah, it was when you moved here. Yeah. Yeah. So almost four years ago. Yeah. I remember. But the reason I had those was because I had a pair of, like, my other favorite glasses. Uh, and then my brother broke them. He sat on them. <laughs> and they just snapped Shout out, out to Anthony Salazar. <laughs> Shout out to Anthony Salazar. <laughs> the breaker of glasses. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was crappy. But then he got me, he did the cool brother move 
and he played a venue and they were like, hey, here's like 50 bucks to Chili Bean glasses. Hmm. And he went in and got me those pair of glasses, which was yeah, dope remember, of him. Yeah, I remember he bought you those. So that was cool. That was his like redemption moment from shattering my other favorite glasses. Yeah. I like, I don't wear glasses much anymore now though, because of contacts. Yeah. Glasses suck because, for me, because I love wearing sunglasses. And you so can't I like, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be able to wear sunglasses because they would have to be prescription. Which I still have my prescription sunglasses that I had. Apparently those made me a dork too because they were prescription. But like, I can't see, so. <laughs> yeah, without, <Sorry. laughs> without your glasses or contacts, you're like blind. Yeah, I'm not as bad as like my sister or like. Which by the way, were they here when I got dad. here? Yeah, they left like right Yeah, the I thought I saw Habib yeah. wave to I me. I think they went to like Habib's mom. I don't know where they were. I came back. Yeah, Panini and... posted something. I think they were at. Uh, well, I came back and Ferdy was here, so. Because I was out with Jacob writing. Oh. We didn't write anything today. We were just talking. <laughs> yeah. It's a good we writing moments, sesh. We have moments where, like, we'll have a day where we don't write and we just talk and, like, hang out. And then, like, like sh- we didn't do anything. Shit. And then, like, the next week we'll get together and, like, write a whole episode. <laughs> it's, like, cool. <laughs> you can't force creativity yeah. like that. That's why even, you know, like, the intros for Fresh Take sometimes... Those are on the spot. We think of those, like, on the spot. Yeah. Normally, I have, like, an idea that day, and then I come in and tell you, like, what do you think? And then we yeah. work with that. Because, like, the Taco Bell one I thought of, like, on the way to, to yeah, that to was your good. Place. And then the um, Bref- Breakfast two, Club the, walk-in, that was yours, the first episode? Yeah, that was that was because we did that the like, day before. The day before. We were just doing... Where were we? We were just, like, walking around, so we're just doing the stupid walk. <laughs> yeah. Ikea. We went to Ikea to get all the stuff. Oh, my God, we yeah. We were walking props. around like that. Yeah. Um, that was such a fun day with Brandon. <laughs> Did the floor is lava. The, the 4th of July one was on the spot, too, because I realized it was 4th of July. And uh, I was like, we need to make this a 4th of July theme. Yeah. And then we did the flags. That was good. Um... And sadly, we didn't have a kazoo, because that would have been funny. You know what's funny? Well, it's funny in retrospect. Literally in my room, in one of my drawers, like at the top of the drawer, was a kazoo. (laughs) So like five feet from where we were filming, (laughs) there was a kazoo. But we wanted my brother's. He had this really cool metal kazoo. It kind of looks like the one I have, doesn't it? Because mine's metal. It's gold, and I think it's over there somewhere. It's like golden red. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very similar. Kind of looks like that one. Yeah, like a brass. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was just so funny. I mm, I got that kazoo in San Diego when I went for... Uh, I used to be a choir kid. I was a really cool guy. <laughs> I was super cool. <laughs> cool, man. I dressed up as Batman in high school, so... I used to be a choir in high school, and we did like a San Diego trip because we had like a competition, and... Um, yeah, I got I got that in Old Town, and I was walking around the zoo and everywhere with the kazoo, just bugging the shit out of people. And I like it was me and our friend. Like, man, you met Paris. Paris was at uh, that dance thing in Vegas. Remember? We bumped yeah. into him with the blonde hair. God, I have the worst memory, but I, I we bumped into him. Sure, and he's uh, really cool, dude. Paris. Yeah, totally. Paris. He's a cool dude. Um, and then my friend Marco and my friend Matt, which I haven't seen them in forever because they went to San Fran after high school. But um, we all got our faces. Oh, and my, our friend Lee, uh, Ian, Ian, our friend Ian too. We all got our faces painted <laughs> at the zoo, like different animals. Like I had was a jaguar. Matt had like a snake. <laughs> and, like Paris had a red panda. <laughs> and Ian was like a tiger, and I forget. What, or no, Marco was a tiger, or something. Like they were all just different animals. <laughs> we, we did a, This is when like Daft Punk came out with uh, Ram. Mm. So Get Lucky was really big, and we did a whole Vine series. When like it was also when Vine was coming out. Remember and Vine? It, was, it was on my Vine where we were just like, in random parts of San Diego, just doing like stupid dances like this <laughs> to Get Lucky <laughs> and stuff <laughs> with our faces painted. It just like. 
<laughs> and there was, was everyone one... else on the trip just like, what the hell? <laughs> it was the funniest thing. And like, oh man, I, I, the Vine's gone. I don't even have the videos anymore. Damn it. Should've it was so that. good because like we had our teacher too. Uh, his name is Mr. Tally. He was like our Shout history teacher. Shout he out to Mr. Tally. This. He was not watching. He was our history teacher. And he was like posted just sitting there like uh, waiting for like, because we were waiting for the bus and he was like standing there. And he was like this super American dude. Like he wore bolo ties and like had cowboy boots and stuff. And like he was super like just standing there like whatever with like his freaking mustache. And we <laughs> all just surrounding him. <laughs> We didn't tell him we were doing this. We just all like there was like we were just around him like dancing to get lucky. <laughs> it was the thing. I thought it was hilarious. That trip was crazy. Dude. That was fun. <laughs> I actually ran into my choir teacher today at Starbucks. When we were me and Jacob were Did there. he or she remember you? Yeah, she well she I I'd like to think she loved me. I thought she <laughs> every time I see her she's like, Hey, what's up? I'm like, what's up? She's like, hey! she was. She was probably my favorite teacher in high school. She was the coolest. Because I actually cared about choir and music. Yeah, you, <laughs> so like, like, you like music. Yeah, so we had that connection. <laughs> she like, yeah, she was cool. Who was my favorite teacher in high school? I'd want to say my media productions teacher. Who like, we just had a very special relationship. Because. Mm. I self-taught myself everything I know. That class just basically was fun hangouts, and I got to make videos for the school. Like, in high school, freshman through senior year, my vice principal loved Batman, and I made a Batman video my freshman year. It was, like a, it was called the Bat Flex. We had to make a product placement video. And he loved the fact that I dressed up like Batman so much that he allowed me to dress up like Batman whenever I wanted. <laughs> I was also the only kid allowed in school who could wear masks. So I would run around my campus in like a morph suit, a gorilla costume, Batman costume. So yeah, that was all thanks to media. So I'd probably say Southerd. Nice. I'm pretty sure my media teacher hated me. But that was because like... But we made the uh, El Mariachi video. Yeah, I made... Because I made like ridiculous comedies Oh. when I was doing media over there and he wasn't a big like he was so he, a drama little, guy? he was a little on the older side ah traditionalist so his, yeah his comedies weren't like uh he wasn't a fan of like the Seth Rogen type humor he was a slapstick yeah probably. he was more of like a three stooges type of guy and I wasn't uh, I mean like I love it but you weren't that's doing not, it that's not what I was doing <laughs> I was doing Mario in real life <laughs> that video was so good and uh the El Mariachi video but that wasn't for media that was for Spanish but we made that. Dang it. And my Spanish teacher also hated me. Oh. Because I didn't care. <laughs> and I sat in the back the whole time talking to Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even joined SRLA because she was in charge. And I was like, maybe she'll like me after that. Like, maybe I'll be cool. And you ran 26 miles yeah, once? I ran 26. I just want to say I ran 26 miles once. Um, <laughs> I yeah. Didn't. Um, and no, she hated me more. <laughs> she just, <laughs> cause I was really lazy. <laughs> so it backfired. But I got free shoes. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I still use them. Right here. These are the shoes I got for free. That's nice, man. Yeah. If they work, they work. Yeah. The, uh, only time I ever did... A marathon was when I was like 11 and I for sure walked. What was it? It was like a 5k or something like that in Sacramento. So three miles. Yeah. And I just remember not, I don't like running now and I never liked running. I don't either. And so I just walked a majority of it with my friends. Yeah. I got through uh, doing the marathon just because I was with my friends and we were like, Doing, we were being stupid the whole time. But, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only that's the only marathon I ever did. I worked a marathon, though. I think I've told you this story. And it's, it's like, I don't like cats that much. But it's, it's still really sad. There was a ton of marathons. This is when I was up in Sacramento. 
There was a ton of marathons. There was a ton of people running this marathon. <laughs> There's like a God, bunch of marathons. In so one many day. marathons. No, there was a ton of people running this marathon, and we had the, all these streets closed up. And our job, I was part of the Rotary Club. We had to like you know like you provide everyone with waters and everything, and then you cleaned up afterwards. Mm-hmm. And when all the runners left, we were cleaning up, and my teacher, who was the coordinator as well, like the leader of the Rotary Club, just like lets out this shriek. And we're like, what? So we all run over, and there was this cat that literally got flattened out by people. And the cat had, oh. like, footprint indents on it. Oh, no. Yeah. Ugh. And I, I just remember going, like, what is, like... How did people... How? I'm telling you, like, it was, like, how did closer it... than shoulder to shoulder. Everyone was just shuffling around. Yeah, but how did the person who stepped on the cat not go, like, shit, there's a cat, you know? And they and might have. Like, but hey, then, everyone, there's a fucking cat. <laughs> you might have, but like at that point, if you stepped on the cat's back, it's screwed. Yeah, but like, you know, move it over. So you don't keep stepping on the cat. <laughs> well, that obviously didn't happen. Um, That's gross. Yeah, so there was just this flattened cat. And I just then, then I remember like 20 minutes after that movie finished cleaning up, I had to, I didn't walk all the way home because it was a hell long walk. But I walked like halfway home to like a pickup point that my parents could grab me. And I'm walking and I'm a, I'm a dumbass. So there was like two lanes on both sides and the speed limit's 55 on that street. The sidewalk was on this side, but for some reason I was walking in the bike lane (laughs) on this side. (laughs) So cars are going like 55 miles per hour past me and I'm like 11 walking. Um, no, I was in high school. So I was, that was freshman year. So I was 13. Um, and so I'm walking and I have my headphones in and I look down to my left and there was this little ditch and there was a dead raccoon, but its mouth was open. So uh. it looked like it was like, uh. like, and I was just like, I remember looking at that and like wanting to jump this way. But then if I jump this way, there's cars. <laughs> and I was like, I should just cross over. <laughs> I'm, I'm so done with this day. This is all at like seven in the morning because we had to work the event well, so early. When we were running one of our like training Days, because we used to run, like, every Tuesday and Sunday, in, like, early in the morning, like, really early. I think it was, like, six in the morning. And, like, one of them, we used to run around Griffith Park, and uh, <laughs> we were running, and we were going around, like, the uh, track by the Gene Autry, mm-hmm. and there's this, there's parts where, like, there's a fence, right? And then there's, like, bushes on the other side of the fence and stuff, because there's a golf course. But, like, we were running, and on the other side of the fence was this possum. And it was just, like, looking at us. And we were like, shit, possum. And we were like, go up to it. And then it would, like, tell us, like, basically be like, go away. So it would, like, open its mouth and, like, look at us and go, like, <sighs> And we were like, oh, shit, like, it's hissing at us. But then it would hiss and, like, move its head around. So it was like, <laughs> and we were just laughing because this possum was like, <laughs> we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this so is okay, like, near me. Bring, bring it, bro. Huh? You want, you want to go? go? Stuff you don't, it. You don't want none of this. <laughs> Possums are weird. Possums are weird. We thought it would play dead, but no, it was just like hissing at us. <laughs> Me and Julia were sitting in the backyard tonight. Uh, we were just munching on some pizza. That DiGiorno. That was arguably delivery. <laughs> just saying, um, if it was delivery, it's not DiGiorno. So. I'll have to talk it up with them and our lawyers. But anyways... We don't know. We're not boys. <laughs> so we're sitting and our feet are in the pool and we're just eating pizza and talking. And along the back side of her wall, because there was like no lights on in the backyard, you just heard. Mm. And it wasn't like a small, like something rustled the leaves. It was like something was just moving through the backyard. <laughs> With but she, no, no yeah, shit. And she's a little bit more jumpy than I am. So she was like, what was that? And I was like, it's probably just like rat or like something like that and she's like well we have raccoons back here and i was like could just be a casual raccoon hanging out didn't bother us but it was for sure like right there and i yeah. couldn't see it and that's the part that irked me because like where we were sitting there was enough light that we could see each other but as it went further into the backyard it was just like pretty dark yeah and i was like raccoons won't they won't do anything i feel like raccoons are just yeah, they're just, you know... I feel doing, like they think they're small people. They're doing their thing. They're just around. We had raccoons in the palm tree here. That's right. Outside, back when Duncan was alive. 
you know, old Duncan. He would Good be, old Duncan. Like, we would be wake up at three in the morning because he'd be barking at these raccoons because we have a palm tree in it's the like front, right of, outside, like, like right outside right my right house, here. and there's a window like right there. So they would just crawl down the palm tree, and my dog, well, he used to like jump up on the couch and like bark at them because like they were just crawling down and he had such a and loud it was, bark yeah and it was a it was a mom raccoon and a bunch of babies so the mom would like crawl down and look at duncan and just be like <laughs> and duncan would just be like, did play, she do this play. <laughs> duncan would just be like play 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 and they just like really wanted to play with him dude he also chased down a coyote yeah he did yeah on our street we get coyotes because we live like by a mountain so this coyote was just like down here <laughs> And, uh, I, we were out talk, I think we were with like, someone was visiting and they were leaving and he, he, we would just let him out. Cause like, he was a good dog. He, was a he, good would, dog. he, he wouldn't would run chill. out on the street or anything. Unless he but, saw a coyote. Unless he saw a coyote. Cause like he stopped and just like looked down the street and we were like, what's up Duncan? And he just took off and he took off and a coyote ran away too. And we were like, Oh Jesus, Duncan, come back. And he came back. I'm like, <laughs> I found a friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool guys. I know him. <laughs> no, trust me. We're really good friends. <laughs> He was crazy. He also, like, killed a squirrel and brought it out one time. Like, we were just... I was out in the, in the front, and uh, I just heard... Like, he went in the bushes, and I was like, what the hell is he doing? And he like, just heard rattling and stuff. And then, like, he just dragged out a squirrel. And I was like, dude, what the you hell? You can't just kill squirrels, Duncan. Just do that. He... Him and Lovey were special. They were interesting dogs. Yeah, Duncan had, like, a... He was... I don't know. He had a weird personality. He was very, like, anxious all the time. Yeah. He was a very, Boston like, Terrier. Shaky. Yeah. Very, <laughs> if you looked at him, he'd just kind of go, like, very, like, shake. My dad would, like, give him a look if he didn't want him around. Like, like if he came around the corner and my dad, like, looked at him, he would, like, back up. <laughs> just kind of like, sorry, sorry. Sorry. My bad. He was a good dog because, like, when we would be eating, like, he knew not to be around us at the dinner table. So he would just, like, hang out in the living room and wait for us to be done. And, like, if my dad looked over at him while we were eating, he would, like, back up and be, like, sorry. And then, like, he would peek around the corner and, like, but, like, only half of his face. So he'd be, like, creeping over the corner with just one eye. Like, we couldn't see him. <laughs> I see. Just, Dang it. Yeah, shit. Well, he was the opposite because we had, in my house, my old house back up in Folsom, we had a carpeted living room and then the kitchen was tile. And so the rule was the dogs couldn't walk in the tiles. Like, they knew that was their line. Mm -hmm. Lovey would sit there, like, on the edge of the line. And then she would start army crawling. Like, (laughs) like she thought she was being really sneaky. And, like, really slowly shuffling forward. Like, Lovey, out of the kitchen. And she'd be like... (laughs) And then we'd look and start eating dinner and just, like... (laughs) You'd hear, like, sliding across the tile. What a trip. (laughs) <laughs> dogs crack me up and then there's like Tula she's just a special breed yeah she's a she's a she's a dog and then there's Ferdy Oh, Ferdy he was here did they take him back? uh yeah they took oh. him yeah they took him so should just leave him here I so know. we can keep him I know right <laughs> he's such a, I love that dog he's such a weird dog <laughs> He walked up to me and just started licking my toes. I was like, no, stop. I don't want those toes. He's like, I really do. He's like, yeah, but they're so good. Have you tried them? (laughs) Yeah, I love dogs. Not a big fan of cats. Except Frank. Well, and Fur. And Freedy. Freedy's cute. Yeah. She really, she's getting very, like, uh, needy. Huh? Yeah. She'll, like, come up to you and be like, yeah, pet me. <laughs> uh, his sister, they have three creatures. Mm-hmm. They have two cats. They have Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Frida Kahlo. And Ferdinand the Bull, who is a French bulldog. Who's a French bulldog. Yeah. And so it's two cats, one bulldog. <clears throat> but Frank is the laziest animal. Yeah, if you guys follow my like Snapchats and Instagrams, you'll see Frank and, F- and Ferdinand and Frida a lot. Yeah, I'm always frequently. over there. And I'm like Ferdinand's babysitter when they're out. So. Yeah. Oh my God. He's yeah. Frank is so funny. And I'm allergic to cats too, which really does not help my bias, but he, I will cuddle him and hold, you can do anything to this yeah. cat. He will not, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't budge. Yeah. Like you could grab him and like throw him up in the air and catch him again. And he'd just be like, <laughs> he'd probably fall asleep in yeah. the air. <laughs> he's, my, my favorite is still when they lived over in uh, Mila 
and like he would go down the stairs oh, in yeah. the morning. He goes down the stairs and you hear him like come down because he's a pretty big cat. And he's just like, <laughs> and he comes down and then he reaches the bottom and he gets there and just kind of like, ah, and just like lays down. He just yep. like falls back asleep. The stairs like killed that. him. <laughs> I remember we were helping Nadia move and we were watching TV. We were, so we're all sitting in that living room and you did, you heard him like, yeah, booking like, it down the steps. <laughs> and he turns the corner as soon as he's on the ground, just like, ah. Just like, no and just God. and he like it looks like he fell asleep reaching for like the last like it just like, out like a light. And then they used to have that bowl because oh yeah that he, he, just... he would fit in it. He used to fit in it, but he got bigger and then he just got to a point where like he was just scrunched up on like, it. Yeah, yeah. He's he's my favorite cat in the entire world. He's the best cat. He's awesome. Cat. Those cats made me okay with cats. Because I hated cats. My problem is, is that like, they're so right not cats. cats that yeah. I still don't like cats. Yeah. But like, I mean, I, cats can be I'm cute. Right cat. I wouldn't get one, but I'm like, all right with them. Yeah. Yeah. I just... Juliet had a cat named Simon, and she showed me pictures of him. And she has pictures of him just, like, sitting on her shoulder. So, like, she'll be, like, cleaning the dishes or something, and he's, like, sitting on her shoulder. Like, <laughs> he was, like... She's, like, you'd put him anywhere, and he would just, like, kind of claw and hang on. Just... <laughs> Chill. I was like, that would be so funny. She'd be like, hold on, I gotta do dishes. <laughs> just, That's really you know, I like cats when they have like personalities like that. Yeah, when they're just some fun. cats are just like, don't touch me, and I'm like, they're too right, independent. That's fine. It's like, well then you be on your own. Yeah, like, you go over there. I don't that's why I like dogs because they just always want to hang out. Yeah, yeah. That's like uh, in in this episode. I carried my dog in <laughs> and she doesn't like being carried by me. Like she'll never like bite me. She's a she, lab too. So she's like a big dog. Yeah, but <laughs> she's, she's already got naturally big eyes and she gets these like really big bug eyes whenever I pick her up <laughs> and her legs go super <laughs> stiff. So it's like you're carrying this like stiff dead weight and she's just like, <laughs> she's so cute though. I would have held her longer in the intro, but I just didn't want her to freak out. Plus, it's so stupid. Fer- Ferdy loves being carried. Yeah, but he'll fall asleep. He's a baby. Like, he's a leg- he's just a baby. Yeah. Like, I'll hold him like a baby. Like, I have him pressed up against him, and he'll put his head here, and just, like, you just start hearing... Because <laughs> he snores a lot. He, he snores a lot. He's a French bulldog. He just snores every time he sleeps. <laughs> he's funny. Dude, Noel's dog, uh, up north in Folsom, they have a ridge bag. And his name is Ranger. He's super cute. His paws are like this big. And he's a puppy. Super cute. Oh my god. But they're like, he has to sleep for 20 hours a day. It's like, that's a lot, that's of, a sleep. lot of sleeping. That's a lot. Because <laughs> he will. He'll play for like two seconds and then just be like. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the narcoleptic dog? No, I've seen the narcoleptic goats. Like, I think that's the funniest thing in the it's world. It's a wiener dog. Oh. And, like, it's, it's like a bit, I don't know, it was like a news uh, thing where, like, they were like, this dog is narcoleptic. And she would throw the ball. And the dog would chase him and just, like, <laughs> just, like, in the It's the so funniest It's so funny. It's so funny. It's so <laughs> I have to watch that because I know like for me the feigning sheep were so oh, it's funny so you like scared them like, like, ah! <laughs> and then just stiff leg and pass out and then my mom that's like the saddest thing ever and it is kind of sad but then they get right it's back funny. up and they're yeah, fine it's really funny. I love the the one that's like the goat that uh that goat that like jumps a lot it's like a little baby goat and I think it's like I think it's it's with a turtle or something like it's like they have a, a goat turtle. And a turtle. They have a turtle. Like They're a walking to a bar and like a goat, and the goat would just like jump on the turtle and just like, <laughs> and like just bounce off of it. <laughs> just like it jumps like a high. Like it just goes. <laughs> it jumps like, off. Have you ever seen goats just scale a flat wall? Yeah, it's weird. Like it's just like this flat, and they're just hanging out. Right and they're just like, we'll sit there. Right? <laughs> yeah. Found goats, a leaf. Goats are so weird. <laughs> Goats are the weirdest animals. <laughs> like, how do they... Goats do? have to be one of my favorite animals. How do they do goats. it? Um, if, like, if you watch the crazy. videos of them doing it, it's like, that makes no physical sense. It blows my mind. <laughs> goats are crazy. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I love that video of the llama that's just like booking it, skipping. He's like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> just like going across the water. So many memes have been made out of that. What is another weird animal? Yeah, goats have to be one of my favorite because they're just so ridiculous. Yeah, I for sure just want a slow boris. Yeah. I just, I mean, they're mega legal because they're eld. I, if I remember correctly, like. They're toxic because they'll lick their elbows, and then yeah. all of a sudden they have like a venomous bite, and then yeah, they're like super toxic. That's like they're like they're so cute yeah. though. Their eyeballs are like this big. I just want a freaking bear. Yeah, we saw a bear. We went camping. We saw a bear, and we saw a bear. He was like a four hundred pound black bear. He was walking through the campsite like he owned it. Like he was like, poof, poof, poof. <laughs> and then you shine a flashlight on. He's like, oh, we shit. like look over like. <laughs> we were driving out to go get service because it was a Amazon Prime day, so you know priorities. <laughs> and we're we're driving out. It was it you or Michael? Someone saw. I someone spotted saw, him both times. Yeah, both times. And he was like, "Oh, sh- bear!" And so, like, I turned around with my flashlight and like t- lowered the window and like, like shined on it. And his eyes had the retina, retina glow. Yeah. And it was terrifying. He was just like looking at us, and then he turned around. And he turned and around like. Bruh. <laughs> bears are so cool <laughs> yeah I watched this video today this guy was driving a motorcycle and in his side cart was a bear <laughs> and he was just feeding him <laughs> and the bear was like <laughs> sitting in the side cart bears are so cool they're so cool they're just, and there's this one uh, there's one that's like a picture of these people with like a little baby cub and it's they bring it to like a animal shelter and they're like oh I wish I could keep this dog and, uh, and then, like, the comments, like, bitch, that's a bear. <laughs> bitch, that's a bear. Yeah. I would, I wish I had, could own one without the fear of them just, like, one day just being, like, yeah. flipping it. Yeah. But, like, it's such a, it's that's such a real thing. We've talked about this. Like, when people, like, like, man owned Tiger and it killed him. It's like, yeah. And it's like, well, it's I don't know tiger. what you were expecting out of that. <laughs> you know. If it, if it gets upset, it can murder you. I want like a crazy animal like that, like like a like a monkey. Freaking Jay was working somewhere today and saw a zebra. See, that's cool. And I was like, that's cool because it's like, like a William Randolph Hearst got a, the, a zebra. Yeah, like little mini yeah, zoo over Hearst Castle. Because there was uh, like a bunch of horses in these stables. He's like, yo, these fools got like a bunch of horses, blah blah, blah and a zebra. <laughs> There's like one zebra just <laughs> hanging out. I'll never zebra. know. It's like, <laughs> I blend right in. Uh, zebras are cool. Zebras are cool. Zebras are cool because they their name starts with a Z. That's got to be the coolest aspect to a zebra. I like that color. Because every time you're like, oh, what's a word that starts with a Z? Zebra. That's true. <laughs> and someone who says xylophone's an idiot. Yeah, because that's an X. <laughs> They're dumb. <laughs> um, oh, it just made me think. Have you seen that video that the owner who comes back to like the line and he like open in the line looks like it's about to rush him and it jumps up on him and is literally just hugging him it's this lioness it's terrifying because you think he's about to just get murked and because it's walking the fence line and it sees him and he opens up the gate and the lion recognizes him oh. and just goes like <laughs> and like jumps and is on and he's holding a lion like just carrying that's a full grown lioness that's crazy and she's just hugging him I was like, one, that's a lot of trust. Because if I saw a lion yeah. running at me, even if I knew the lion, I'd be like, fuck. This is a 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flip a coin now. I'd so, either get a tie or get a really good hug. <laughs> and I'm hoping for the latter. So yeah, owning an exotic animal. I've always See, like, wanted to own a monkey. Yeah, a monkey would be so cool. I just don't want them to like, rip my face off yeah or like throw shit at me yeah i want a monkey and train it to throw shit at other people like, yeah we talked about that yeah, too that'd be, that'd be, be, the thing. Thing. be like monkey <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell was that a monkey shit <laughs> face jeez it's in my eyes it hurts <laughs> yeah monkey would be cool I've always wanted, have you seen a finger monkey? They're like this big. Oh, yeah. I would for sure sit on I it by accident. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like within the first five minutes. I'd be in my I'd be in my car and be like, oh, crap. <laughs> it's somewhere in my car. It has to be. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I want an example. I want a capuchin. Oh, like from Night at the Museum? Night at the Museum, yeah. I just want to get into a slap fight with a capuchin. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Not that I want to slap an animal. It just, no. If you've seen Night at the Museum, it's like the funniest <laughs> yeah. scene. If you haven't time. seen Night at the Museum at this point, like, what's the hell are you that. doing? <laughs> I've still never seen the third one, and I want to. It's pretty good. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it in theaters. I want to see good. it. It's, like, yeah, it's just Ben Stiller, man. <laughs> He's so funny. I love Ben Stiller. He's awesome. Um, like, I think, honestly, arguably my favorite movie of all time might be Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Yeah. That movie just makes me want to do everything. Mine is uh, still probably Clockwork Orange. It's a great movie. Which is, yeah. Those are like two vastly different yeah. movies. Very. Mine's <laughs> extremely dark. And yours is just a very happy movie. Mine's like a, yeah, explore yeah. life and yeah. don't be afraid. Yeah. Mine's yours like, is like, I'm a psychopath. Yeah, it's just and, into uh, the mind of a crazy yeah. sociopath. <laughs> it's just like... You no, know, they could be compared. But it's Kubrick. It's Kubrick. Yeah, mine was directed by Ben Stiller, so... Yeah. Just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the movie I told you to watch, I don't think you've done it, is Hector and the Search for Happiness. Yeah, I haven't. That's a good movie. And I don't think they have it on Netflix anymore, which really bums me out, because mm. I for sure... That was on my once-a-month movie list. Those I, movies are cool. They just don't, like, uh, uh, hit... Like, they don't affect me the way, like, they affect you. Oh, yeah. Because, like, we, we I take like... to things differently. Yeah. Like I like cool, like happy movies like that, but like they just I don't know I'm I'm more of a dark. You you connect not that you're just a dark black yeah. person, but you connect <laughs> yeah, better to those good. movies. Like they, I think they strike home for you more. Yeah, they're just like interesting. Where like me. I think I'm constantly angry, so those happy movies <laughs> I'm like yeah, <laughs> yeah happy movies like they're fun to watch, but like I just I need something with a conflict in it. Like a real like something that like just like draws me in like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also yeah. a sucker for super simple movies. Yeah. Like the simpler the movie, the better I'll probably like it. Like that's why I like Sing Street. Yeah, Sing Street's good. Sing Street was so good. Sing Go Street watch is good. that if you haven't. Yeah. But more importantly, I think you should watch us by subscribing. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Are we, is that, was that like a transition uh-huh. to the end? Huh? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, guys, person, <laughs> people, subscribe, like, subscribe, and comment down below yep. uh, if you want us to talk about stuff, because this is a podcast. Let us know. And we talk about things. We do talk so, about uh, a lot of things. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. What are you doing in my house? Huh? Where am I?